Did you know that modern bullet manufacturing is so exact that variations of less than a thousandth of an inch can mean the difference between a perfect round and one that's scrapped? It's like assembling a Formula One car where every component must be flawless. In this video, we're taking you on a journey through a state-of-the-art ammunition factory. You'll witness the transformation of raw metal into the bullets you rely on. Ever wondered what's inside that mysterious pile of metal at the start of a bullet factory? Well, get ready to find out. This carefully curated mix of raw materials will soon become the bullets we're all familiar with. Depending on the type of bullet being produced, you'll find a variety of metals in the mix. Lead is often a key player, but copper, zinc, and even steel can all make an appearance. Each metal brings its own unique properties to the table, contributing to the bullet's final performance. The purity of these metals is absolutely crucial. Even the tiniest impurity can affect the bullet's weight, balance, and performance. Every batch of metal undergoes rigorous testing before it ever gets near the production line. It's like a high-stakes cooking competition where one wrong ingredient could spell disaster for the chef's creation. Once approved, the journey heats up, literally. The raw materials are melted down in massive furnaces, reaching temperatures that would make your oven at home look like a popsicle stand. As the metals become molten, they're carefully combined according to precise recipes. The temperature plays a crucial role here, affecting everything from the metal's strength to its malleability. The molten metal doesn't stay liquid for long. In many factories, it's poured into molds to create long rods or sheets. These will serve as the starting point for the actual bullet components. But the process doesn't end there. The cooling process is carefully controlled to ensure the metal develops the right crystalline structure too fast and the metal might become brittle, too slow, and it could lose some of its desired properties. Throughout this entire process, quality control is king. Technicians are constantly running tests, checking the metal's composition, hardness, and other vital characteristics. Any batch that doesn't meet the exacting standards is rejected and recycled. It's this attention to detail that ensures every bullet that leaves the factory is up to snuff. As we wrap up this stage of the bullet making process, you might be wondering what comes next. Well, get ready, because things are about to get even more interesting. Those metal rods and sheets we just created, they're about to undergo a transformation that will start to give them their distinctive bullet shape. The manufacturers are incredibly picky about their raw materials, and for good reason. This isn't your average scrap heap. It's the foundation for a precision product that needs to perform flawlessly every time. Now that we've seen the raw materials transformed into workable metal rods and sheets, it's time to dive into the heart of bullet manufacturing. Ever wondered how those simple metal pieces become the sleek, aerodynamic shapes we recognize as bullets? Well, get ready to be amazed by the precision and artistry that goes into this next stage. Let's start with the star of the show, the machinery. Picture a room filled with gleaming metal behemoths, each one designed for a specific task in shaping our bullet components. These machines are marvels of engineering, capable of working with tolerances so tight that even a fraction of a millimeter can make or break the entire process. At the core of this stage are two main processes, cutting and molding. First, those long metal rods we saw earlier are sliced with incredible precision. Imagine a giant ultra-sharp cookie cutter carving perfect shapes out of a warm slab of dough. But instead of dough, it's carving through metal like it's butter. These machines, called lathes and mills, use computer-controlled cutting tools to slice the rods into smaller pieces that will eventually become bullet jackets and cores. But the real magic happens when these pieces start taking shape. The machines use a combination of extreme pressure and carefully calibrated dies to mold the metal into the distinctive bullet shapes we're all familiar with. It's like watching an industrial sculptor at work using hydraulic presses and specialized forming tools instead of hands to create their masterpieces. What's truly fascinating is the variety of shapes created during this process. Depending on the type of bullet being manufactured, you might see anything from the classic pointed design to hollow points, flat-nosed slugs, or even more exotic configurations. Each shape serves a specific purpose. 
whether it's for improved accuracy, controlled expansion, or specialized applications. Consistency is absolutely crucial at this stage. Even the tiniest deviation in shape or size can affect a bullet's performance, potentially throwing off its trajectory or changing how it behaves on impact. To ensure this level of consistency, manufacturers employ a battery of quality control measures. High-speed cameras and laser measurement tools constantly monitor the production line checking each component against exacting standards. Any piece that doesn't meet the grade is immediately flagged and removed from the process. As we watch these individual components take shape, it's hard not to feel a sense of anticipation. We've seen the raw materials transformed into recognizable parts, but how do they all come together to form a complete bullet? That's the question that'll drive us into the next exciting stage of our journey through the bullet factory. As we enter this new area of the factory, the incredible organization catches our eye. Conveyor belts snake through the room, carrying partially assembled bullets from one station to the next. The air hums with the rhythmic sound of machinery, punctuated by the occasional hiss of pneumatic systems. Let's start at the beginning of this intricate process. The bullet core, which we saw being formed earlier, is now ready to meet its jacket. A machine picks up each core with uncanny accuracy, aligning it perfectly with a waiting jacket before swiftly inserting it. In the blink of an eye, the core and jacket become one. The newly jacketed bullet then moves on to meet its other half, the casing. Another machine takes over, carefully seating the bullet into the casing with just the right amount of pressure. Too loose or too tight, and the bullet's performance could be compromised. But we're not done yet. The primer, a small but mighty component needs to be added. A separate machine places this tiny ignition source into a pocket at the base of each casing with mind-boggling precision. With all components in place, we move to the crucial crimping step. Here, a specialized tool applies pressure around the mouth of the casing, creating a tight seal that holds the bullet in place. A technician carefully monitors this process, adjusting the crimping pressure to ensure each round meets exacting standards. As we watch, it's impossible not to be impressed by the level of precision involved. Each station along the assembly line is calibrated to work within tolerances measured in thousandths of an inch. A deviation of even a fraction of a millimeter could lead to a round that doesn't meet the required standards. The final step in the assembly process is adding the gunpowder. The rounds move to a station where they're filled with a carefully measured amount of powder, a step that significantly affects the bullet's performance. Throughout this entire process, quality control measures are in place at every turn. High-speed cameras capture images of each round as it moves through the assembly line, checking for any visible defects. Laser measurement tools continuously verify the dimensions of the assembled rounds, ensuring they meet the required specifications. It's a testament to the incredible attention to detail that goes into creating each and every bullet. Let's face it, when it comes to ammunition, there's absolutely no room for error. A single faulty round could mean the difference between life and death for the end user. That's why bullet manufacturers employ a series of rigorous tests to ensure every single round leaving their factory is nothing short of perfect. Quality control starts with a trio of crucial checks, weight, visual inspection, and dimensional accuracy. Each round is carefully weighed using high precision scales, so sensitive they can detect differences smaller than a human hair. Trained technicians with eagle eyes examine every bullet for surface defects like scratches, dents, or any irregularities in shape. Using laser micrometers and other high-tech measuring devices, they scrutinize each round to ensure it meets exact specifications, with tolerances measured in thousandths of an inch. According to industry experts, a variance of just 0.01 inches can affect a bullet's trajectory by several inches at 100 yards. Next comes one of the most exciting parts of quality control, ballistic testing. 
This is where we get to see these little metal marvels in action. It's like the final trials for a professional athlete before the big championship. Sample rounds from each batch are fired in controlled conditions to verify their performance. Technicians measure things like muzzle velocity, accuracy, and consistency. It's a mini shooting range right there in the factory. Before these bullets can be deemed fit for use, there's one more crucial step. A final inspection combines all the previous tests into one comprehensive check. Using state-of-the-art technology, each round is given one last once-over. This system can detect even the tiniest imperfections that might have slipped through earlier stages, ensuring unparalleled reliability for the end user. So, what happens to the bullets that don't make the grade? Well, they're not just tossed in the trash. Remember, these are valuable materials we're talking about. Any rounds that fail to meet the exacting standards are immediately flagged, removed from the production line, and recycled. The materials are melted down and will live to see another day as part of a new, hopefully perfect, bullet. This commitment to quality ensures that every round that leaves the factory is ready to perform exactly as intended, whether it's for sport, hunting, or professional use. As our meticulously crafted bullets roll off the production line, they're immediately funneled into a sophisticated counting system. These machines use advanced sensors and algorithms to count hundreds of rounds per minute with astonishing accuracy. The system also ensures that each bullet is oriented correctly, preventing any potential damage during packaging. Here's is where things get really interesting. The primer, that tiny but essential part that ignites the gunpowder, isn't added until the very end of the process. It's part of the final assembly, happening just before packaging. Why leave it so late? It's all about safety. Primers are sensitive components, and adding them earlier could increase the risk of accidental discharge during manufacturing. The primer insertion process is a delicate dance of machinery and precision, happening hundreds of times per minute with near-perfect accuracy. Once counted and primed, the bullets are grouped according to their specific type and caliber. Packaging options vary depending on the end user's needs. For the average consumer, you'll typically see bullets neatly arranged in plastic trays or cardboard boxes. For bulk buyers or those with specialized needs, manufacturers offer options like military-style ammo cans, perfect for long-term storage or transport in rugged conditions. Some high-end or collector's edition ammunition even comes in custom wooden boxes, adding a touch of elegance to the packaging process. Each package is carefully labeled with crucial information. Caliber, bullet weight, powder type, and lot number are all clearly marked. For the enthusiasts out there, you might even find additional data like muzzle velocity or energy figures. From machine precision to meticulous packaging, every step preserves bullet integrity. Storage and shipping considerations play a huge role in maintaining quality. Temperature and humidity control are paramount, with silica gel packets often included to keep things dry. Extreme heat can affect the chemical composition of the gunpowder, while moisture can lead to corrosion. When it comes to shipping, ammunition is classified as a hazardous material. Packages are clearly marked and handled separately from regular cargo, with specialized couriers ensuring compliance with all safety regulations. This careful attention to detail ensures that the quality and safety of the ammunition are maintained from the factory floor to the end user's hands. What's striking is how this process blends cutting-edge technology with skilled craftsmanship. High-tech machines and expert technicians work together to create a product that's both incredibly precise and consistent. Next time you see a bullet, appreciate the engineering marvel it represents. It's a symphony of raw materials, precise timing, and expert craftsmanship. Who knew something so small could hide such incredible secrets? It reminds us that even everyday objects can be the result of unseen expertise and passion.